Well, first of all, I just want to say, hey, I'm sorry. You know, I started this YouTube channel so I could um, show people how the right ways and the wrong ways of doing drywall. Now, I know I live up here in northern Illinois, and I know things are a little bit different here than they are in other places. Some people don't use Durabond. When I lived in Arizona, we didn't Durabond anything. I mean, it was 110 degrees with 0% humidity. Wood wasn't expanding and contracting like it does here. You go up into Seattle, and the wood actually expands and contracts more than it does here. And if you're not using Durabond there, and if you're not using a product called um, magic corner that where the angles can expand and contract you're going to deal with a lot more cracks up in Seattle than you are here too but here in the state of Illinois we found that if we you pre-fill all of our butts pre-fill all of our seams we have less settlement cracks 80 percent less settlement cracks than when you don't do it but I also use an awful lot of different materials too an awful lot of different types of corner bead and stuff regular corner bead. Well, this is my regular corner bead today. It's a super wide tape on corner bead. It's phenomenal. Does not crack. I absolutely love it. I've used this product. It's a vinyl corner bead. You spray glue and you staple it on. Uh, I've used I've used J bead. It's called J bead. It clips on the end of the drywall. We used to put that around our windows until they came out with L bead. Then they had just L bead like this. And we put that around the windows and things that were that were finished. And then we switched to tearaway bead, which looks like this, and it tears away. And we started using that. Um, but arch bead is, is very common for arches. It bends around the arches really easy. It's pre-cut. It works very, very well. I like to spray glue this. I like to spray glue this stuff on and then staple it when it comes to vinyl. Um, and you've seen my videos on control joint. Once they started doing open concept and up all of the floors, we've had to use control joint. I've got two types of bull nose. I've got plastic bull nose, which I don't really care for anymore. I've had too many problems with it. Uh, because of expanding and contracting, it cracks. Even when I spray glue it on and staple it, I still have problems with it cracking. I switch to a tape-on bull nose. You just mud it up, run it. I run this right through my hopper, and I just stick it on and wipe it down. So I've used these products for years, and and I know how to use all of this stuff. So I just wanted to to show a right way to do things. And that's why I started my channel in the first place. I started getting wrapped up in how many views I'm getting, how many subscribers I'm getting, all this other stuff. And I just want to say, I'm sorry. I don't want to get wrapped up in those things anymore. I'm still going to produce videos. I'm just going to produce videos to show how I do things and the way I do things and why I do things. So stick around. This is my intro, and I just hope to see you guys subscribe. I hope to see you guys show up, and, and hey, if you've got suggestions, if you've got comments, uh, please leave them on the channel. So you guys have a great day.